Yeah, do you know anything about this game? Oh, uh, you said it's kind of like Minecraft. <laughs> it is uh, kind of like Minecraft. There's crafting. There let is me, crafting. Uh, let me come to you. So it is a survival crafting game. Okay. Is it um, supposed to look like shit? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It is, oh, it is artistic. Okay, he spawned at spawn. That's where our base is, kind of. Okay, I've got a, I've got a bird carrying me. Okay. Uh, is this like okay. PUBG? Do I need to... Wait, he's not on my map. Uh, that's because he hasn't turned on visible to other players yet. Okay, yeah. when the bird drops you off, uh, hit open your map with M, and then there's a checkbox for visible to other players. And you should hit that. Okay. You need to open the bird. Okay. Yeah, kill the bird, open its inventory. Okay, um, visible to other players, check. Okay. I bring tidings. Hello, yeet. But dude, we need like text to speech on all this. I think there's an option for text to speech on this. Oh wait, really? Can you do oh. baby text? Is there an when accessibility you're... setting Rainbow for that? Text. Oh, dude, three. Microsoft uh, Sam, get in here. There is that. Oh. Unfortunately. Reduce. I would flashing. turn off camera Lines. shake and motion blur and depth of field because all okay. those suck. No, you gotta maximize camera shake. Infinite camera shake. It's Borderlands. All right, shift to run. Gotta turn if the game isn't made unplayable by particle effects, then. It doesn't have real are you, are you really living? I improved my skill run? Yes, you have yes. a run skill. So this game is basically a Korean MMO. Oh. Um, everything has a skill. Everything you do improves a skill. Dopamine. Yes. That's purpose. You have leveled up your agility. Uh, jumping also has a skill. So uh, do that. That is sneaking. And swimming. Do you want it? Every year, do you get really good at jumping? Yes. Uh, you, you do jump higher. All right. Uh, where are you guys? I'm next to a red thing. Can you see the map by hitting M? Yeah. Tyrone and Tunk. to your west. Yes, yeah, that is us. Ah, okay. So this is made in Korea. Oh, there's a boar. Yep. Okay, right. There are lots boar. of boars. It's so it is like a third person combat and building based game. Oh, it's um it's a uh, Pokemon ripoff game. Like Dark World. Souls ripoff? Mm. You just haven't played Pal World. That's also true. I also haven't played Pal World. The bird keeps talking to me. Yeah, he's gonna, gonna do the that. Fuck up. He's gonna I do that. I can hit him to life. increase my club skill. Face. So Yo. nerds. How's it going? Oh, this is also Don't Starve? It is actually very similar to Don't Starve. Okay. Actually, Don't Starve is the most similar game. Hmm. Um, but it's 3D. Don't Starve is the most similar? Okay. Yeah, I think so. I guess I see it. Okay, so you're cooking, I'm guessing? Yeah. Okay, so half the progression in this game is food. What up? Yo. How we doing? I'm training my Good jump. Training yeah. jump. What game? Uh, Valheim. But uh, Valheim, sweet. Can um, you get more stamina? Yeah. Uh, yes. That's all I want. Yep. As as I was just saying, half of this progression is from food. So okay. if you eat fruits or vegetables, you get more health and stamina weighted towards stamina. And if you eat meat, it gives you more health and stamina weighted towards health. So the okay. better your food, the more health and stamina you have. Please don't hit the teleporters. The, the bird's on the teleporter. I thought I was going to hit him. Oh, I can't see your birds. You're just man yelling at Cloud right now. If you hit tab, you have some stuff that pops up. Yeah. Left hand side is your hot bar and inventory. Right hand side is um, some like info stuff at the top. Okay. And then you're in inventory crafting menu. Right. Is right there. You should have a couple items there. Uh, like club. Uh, Come over here. Who are uh, you? Are you Tyrone or Tunk? I'm I'm Tyrone, yes. Okay, see this on the ground? The stone? Oh, shit. Give it to me. One sec. Go grab that rock. Uh, All right. Now, over here, see that branch on the ground? That's some raspberries. raspberries. Okay. Yep. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Okay, just gotta do more scavenging. Boostio. Do you wanna make him an axe? At least. Yeah, I'll make him an axe and a hammer. Too long. Oh, God. What do you want, bird? He wants to talk to you and make sure you talk to him. Punching his ass. Okay, bear. Like, I have a singular berry. Good. Should that be, like, cooked? No, you just eat it. Okay. 
Nice. This fucking bird. Yeah, he's gonna. Yeah, that's that's the ex exposition bird. Uh, he yeah, doesn't shut the fuck up ever. This is at you. Yeah. You guys sleep in the same room. That's that's so sweet. Not anymore. Oh. Not since the divorce. Do you have multiple beds? Yeah. Okay. I got different hose in area codes. Here, dude, I'm gonna make you a bed. I, I, I'll sleep anywhere, man. I'm a fucking. I just got here. All right. Okay. So if you come over to this fire and hit X, you sit down. And if you sit down for a little while and you're not wet, you'll get rested, which makes your energy regen three times as fast. Oh. And the comfort, higher the comfort, the longer the rested bonus lasts. Hmm. I think it's like a minute per level of comfort. So I'm guessing wet is a debuff that makes your stamina not work as well. You can't sleep when you're wet, and it doesn't actually make you regen slower or anything. You just can't sleep and you can't get a rested bonus until wet is gone. So you can't rest when you're wet. Does a torch help with any of this? Torch does not, I don't think. Oh, we runescape, okay. I also killed like a weird goblin boy a second ago. Yep, yep. Right. That would be a, a grayling. All right. Just making sure that's not out of the ordinary. Nope, they're not people. Kill on sight. Oop. All right, what's up? All right, I'm going to teach you some things. All right. This thing is the crafting table from Minecraft. Oh, okay. I'm going to drop you some stuff. Here are leather trousers, and I'm going to give you a bunch of deer hide, and I want you to go into the crafting bench and finish out your leather armor. Okay. Okay. Well, that was... Nice. All right. Here is your Minecraft pickaxe. Here is your Minecraft axe. Oh. Um, they're both made out of bronze because this is also RuneScape. Oh, okay. Oh, you probably need a weapon too. What kinds of weapons are there? Uh, 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 there's a Hadagir, which is like a, a kind of like a pike type thing. I'll, I just want the thing that is either the heaviest, longest, or like most unwieldy. If if oh, if anything okay, meets one okay. of those requirements. I I I have that what we need for you. For the work the Minecraft workbench is split into two benches. There's the normal things bench and there's the things that are made with metal bench. So does Pal World. I've, I've got just what you just what you require. Also you can hit read on this map and you will get our map updates. Oh baby. Okay, well that's very nice. And then if you hit right on this side, then you'll write your map updates to the table. Oh, it's a database. Alright, I have your weapon. There you go. What? what was that? The stag breaker. Pull it out. Whoa. Whoa. I'm like uh, actually slower with it. I. No, oh no, my hey, God. don't. Not inside. <laughs> <laughs> didn't think I would do that. I and mean, it didn't do that much damage. Oh, yeah. Other important things. So if you come up to the, the workbench here, you hit E. Mm -hmm. So there's like the craft menu on the right hand side. Do you see a, a hammer icon just to the left of it? Like a little box sticking off the side? Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. If you just spam that button when it's lit up, it fixes all the items in your inventory for free. For free? For free. Yeah, you don't have to pay anything wow. to repair. Oh, nice. If you need to fix metal things, you have to do it with the with this forge right here instead. Okay. Well, there's an upgrade. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, did you build a hammer yet? You should do that. Not the stag breaker. That doesn't count. <laughs> I need two more stone. There should be some stone somewhere. Yeah, there's a lot of stone in the chest marked stone. Oh, yeah. There's stone outside, too. What does a hammer do? If you right-click, it is your build things in the world menu. Oh. Uh. So you can always break things and move them. Okay. So I have a thing here. Oh, did I actually? Did I build it? You yeah, can see you this fence? Yes. Yep. Those are real. Okay. You can and your middle mouse to destroy them. them. Oh, cool. Did I plant oaks here, or did I plant them in the other place just don't destroy the big house here uh and structures are structurally stable so if you remove those supports the building will collapse so please do not okay. do that also you are now cold because it is night that does reduce your stamina region we can uh, sleep. oh unclaimed bed don't mind if i do oh did you build him a bed oh perfect yeah. sink let's go <laughs> frank perfect oops uh it's easy it's easy it's easy Oh, should I should I teach him the joys? 
Maybe we should talk about teleporters. Do you see, see this teleporter? Yeah. You walk into it, you teleport. Oh, okay, it's Minecraft. Yep. Yes. Now, I'll show you the joys of the boat. Come, my child. Other side of the boat. There's a ladder. Hit E on the ladder. Imagine RuneScape, but you can't teleport metals. But, like, you can't teleport anything except yourself in RuneScape, so what do you mean? Well, but well, you like, can teleport you, everything in your you inventory. Yeah, imagine you couldn't teleport if you were holding, like, rune ore and you had to run back to the bank Oh, you yourself. can't teleport with metal. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Huh. You can okay. with metal objects, just not metal ores. Okay, so it's in Toronto. I haven't heard of that, but I believe you. But no, it's the island you go to that you can't bring any weapons to. You know what it is. You can't pretend like you don't know what it is. Monk, Monk Island. Yeah. In uh, Toronto. Yeah. It's the place where you craft law runes. Do you see the arrow at the bottom of your mini map? Yeah. That is the wind direction. Uh. So when we're sailing, that is how we decide how we can sail. So if you come sit at the, the rudder there. So you hit. There's three speeds forward and then one speed backward. So we want to sail... Oh god, it's gonna if it's gonna storm we wanna head back. Should we head back? Yeah. Turn turn to your uh turn to your right, yep. Yeah. And it, it yeah. stays turned when you turn. They should add pals. The boat does have health. They should okay. add pals. I have I set the <laughs> acceleration to zero. Is this where you want to be? Yeah, uh, fine. Stop. Eventually. Holy fuck, dude. This bird. That's a neck right there. Okay. Oh, and see how it has a one star on it? Yeah. Oh, what? I got hit by a tree. Oh, did you die? Yeah. Clunk. Sorry. I was like, where did the top of that tree go? Clunk. Okay, this is a rune stone. Man, this this game really expects that you can fucking read. Yeah. Oh, a deer. A one star deer. Yep, they're good. They're good eating. Guys, out sailing. Can I show you show you something at the main base? Uh, yeah. If you can figure out how to get back. Good luck. Yep. All right. So let's see. Grab some of the raw meat, the deer meat, and the boar meat out of the top chest. So you can cook meat on these cooking stations. You just click on them. Oh, that's yeah. That's the fire. Oh. It's a timer-based thing. It's Pal World. You like kind of have to watch it because um, they burn. burn. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. They will turn into uh, charcoal. It's basically plated it up. When you eat food, so each food gives you like a buff for a certain time. Then they'll either buff your health or your stamina or both. They buff both. And after it gets halfway down its timer, it'll start degrading. The the buff will start degrading. It's RuneScape. Here, um, I'm going to give you this thing. Um, it's you. It's a hoe. You're a hoe. It's a hoe. Just Oh, real quick. Just eat this torch. Understood. <laughs> so the hoe is used for flattening ground. Okay. And it flattens it to, to the height of wherever your feet are standing. You can also right click to make it like raise ground or do other shit. So it's kind of like fucking roller coaster tycoon. Uh, you can only flatten it a certain amount. There's too much grass around here. You can use the pickaxe, obviously, to just fucking fuck shit up. Oh, it's Minecraft and RuneScape. It's Pal World with less features. So I wanted to show you this thing over here. This is a road that I built in here. Uh, we'll just go to the end of it real quick. That was a run run buff. Oh. So you can, you can you can make stuff like this just by like flattening and mining ground. And this is useful because you can drag carts with you. So there's a weight to objects in this game. Hmm. So you have a you have a carrying capacity basically. So if you need to carry like a bunch of ore back, for example, then you can like load up a cart and uh, the cart is literally carried behind you like in real world. It's a physics object. So having a, like a flat road is good for that. So how did you get um, whirlwind sprint all three uh, shots? I beat the first boss. Oh, yeah. This is the cart. 
Hmm. Okay, so this is uh, Deep Rock Galactic. Yeah. I'll, I'll let you know. That road probably took maybe two hours. Wow. 90 minutes to build. I probably spent 30 minutes mining the resources at the end of it, and then this road was useless. Oh, okay. Um, so don't build anything in this game. Okay. It's not. You're not supposed to. You're heavily incentivized to not interface with like the land leveling tools or build roads. Well, that was a nice TED talk. Yeah, this is my TED talk. Fuck this game. Fuck this road. Uh, I like yeah, that can sometimes go get your, uh... deer get scared and run at you. Yeah. Because they're stupid. We can go get the sprint power up if you want. This game just makes me want to play Pal World again. That was kind of short-lived, wasn't it? Uh, I put 120 hours into it in two weeks. Oh, sheesh. It's just an upgraded Pokemon game. It Pal is World a very is like good Pokemon game. Yeah. Second most played game on Steam or something. All right, come on. And then how do you use Shouts? F. F. Oh, the action button. More people have played Pal World at the same time than every other video game, except for PUBG and Black Myth Wukong. I haven't even heard of the second one. Uh, that's because it came, came, came out today. It came out today. Oh. Did you go over here and use to... Yeah, I pressed D on it. How often can you whirlwind sprint? Five minute duration and a 20 minute total cooldown. Let, let me know if you need help. I'm going to keep doing my day job. Yeah, there's a shaman. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you want to you want to fight him? I mean, I've got him down to half. You are doing it? Yeah, but I'm like stinky now. Oh, also he heals himself. He's almost full again. That fast? Yeah. Fuck. You you're kind of under leveled. Oh, you have to level. It's not just gear. Well, gear. You're under geared. Like I'm level 34 with spears. No, okay. What the hell? Yeah, I it's drove just... a deer in. <laughs> oh, Damn it! Wow. He's not. <laughs> Get you like a real bronze weapon. All right, I'm gonna give you the task of making the bronze out of gear yourself, so you can let me know if you have questions. Uh, okay. I'm guessing this is where the bronze is. So brain teaser. There's no bronze in this space. Ah, uh, it's RuneScape. What's what's the brain teaser? Uh, well, just keep just keep working with the puzzle. Maybe you'll figure it out. Maybe you cook the metal. Uh, no. Nope. Nope. So you you do need. There is bronze in one of the other bases. That that's the puzzle. It just it's just in another castle. Yes. Yeah. Correct. This is the worst fucking puzzle of my life. <laughs> the puzzle is the game design makes you not be able to move metal between bases. Oh, so this actually is the best weapon. What the hammer? Yeah. The whatever the fuck thing you gave me. Well, no. But like, if you can't travel with something, then it doesn't exist. You can't travel with. You can't tell metal. You metal. can't teleport with metal ores. You can teleport with metal weapons. What? That is not. That is yep. not. What that's, was a, that's how it works. Communicated. That those are the exact words that you run the tape back. Dude, Johnny, I, I'll, run the tape we can back. run it back. You just. Yeah. You said metal objects. Nope. I said metal ores. Now it makes you not be able to move metal between bases. You see, there's a little icon next to them. Like on the sprite? Yeah. It looks like a teleporter with a cross through it? Yeah. That means you can't teleport with that item. Okay. That doesn't solve the puzzle of we only have one copper, and to make bronze you need two. Is that a different puzzle? This is one of our bases. There are three teleporters over there for you to explore. Do you happen to have the knowledge of which one goes to the one that you <laughs> built the base that has yeah. the copper that you it's know? This one. <laughs> okay, it's this sweet. One. <laughs> they say, give a man a bronze editor and he'll kill a troll. Okay. If you teach a man how to make a bronze editor, he'll kill all the trolls. Are you able to use items that are adjacent, like in an adjacent chest, or do you have to? No, no uh, it has to be an why? inventory. Because the game hates you, there's mods for that. Ooh, honey. Yeah, it didn't. I didn't say it was a good game. I just said it's the game we're playing. I wouldn't necessarily call it a bad game, though. It needs guns. It should be guns. I don't think it would be any worse. I wouldn't say no to a musket. In well, my yeah. D&D. It's more likely than you might think. Uh, my character refuses to move. Are you over-encumbered? You're over-encumbered, and you, when you move, you'll drain energy, and when you run out of energy, you can't move anymore.
Nice. Oh, you want to pull out your Adiger? Adiger. Ooh, perfect. Uh, if you hit middle mouse, that does your special attack. Oh. You know, RuneScape. Dragon Halberd. But the bronze ad gear does almost double the damage of the hammer. Oh, with much higher attack speed. And I might be able to hit a deer that's running by. Yeah, it has longer reach, too. Yeah, I think next thing I want to get you is maybe some of this armor. Oh, yeah, it's Dark Souls all the way. Uh, I've never played a Dark Souls game. This this is it. This is how this is Dark Souls. Okay, so that's why it fucking sucks. That's why everybody's like, oh my god, don't you just love the combat in Dark Souls? I'm like, no, I don't give a shit about the combat in Dark Souls. Alright, I'm saving the game. Yeah, this just makes me want to play Pal World. 